Hey YouTube, today I'm going to teach you guys a self-working card trick, which means that there's no sleight of hand required. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so for the self-working card trick, the only setup that you need to have is that you only need 27 cards out of the deck. So before you start the trick, you'll go ahead and count off this. I've already done this ahead of time. And then to begin the trick, you'll have the spectator pick any card they want. So in this case, we'll pick this card, the Seven of Diamonds. And then once they've seen it, they can put it back anywhere in the deck. And then you'll have them pick a number between 1 and 27. And when they do this, you'll have to mentally think about these rules. So while you're dividing the cards into groups of three to show the spectator, there are a specific set of rules that I will show now for how to force the card to a specific number position, specifically their number. All right, so let's do an example. We saw the seven of diamonds earlier, and let's say that the spectator picks the number 11. So while you are putting the cards face up into three piles, you're going to sum up the digits in the number they've selected, in this case, 11, and you would notice that those sum up to two. And when you're thinking in groups of three, this would fall on the first group of three, and it would be the middle number, as it's between one and three. So the first time you go through this, you would notice that you sum to the middle digit of your group of three, so the pile with the seven of diamonds would need to be in the middle when you sort through these. And then when you go through the second time, you would notice that your middle digit, two in this case, falls in the top group of three of when you're talking about the groups one through three, four through six, and seven through nine. So the second time through, you will want the pile with the seven of diamonds or the spectator's card to be the top pile. So you would stack the cards so that when you do this again, the top pile was the one with the seven of diamonds. And now the last time through, you go through and you determine that the spectator's number, 11, would fall in the second set of nine between one and 27. So one through nine, 10 through 18, and 19 through 27. So for the final set through, you would want the pile with the seven of diamonds to end in the middle. So in this case, you would move the seven of diamonds pile into the middle, and now you can sell the trick to the spectator however you like and use their number. So in this case, we would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cards in, and we would see that the card has been forced to be their card, the seven of diamonds. And that's all there is to it. This is a trick that I use all the time that always tends to get great results. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and were able to learn a lot. And I thank you all for watching and hope you'll keep learning alongside with me.